So it's time to make the furnitures for the caravan. First I rolled some clay through the pasta machine on my thickest setting and I laid that doubled as you saw and I'm going to cut out a piece that I want to be a couch. I'm going to measure it to the caravan to make sure it has the right size for where I want it to be. Then I take a tiny bit of bacon bond and I stick it to the place on the floor where it needs to go. And I'm going to make a few indents with my uh, ball tool to make it look like there is actually some cushion that have been seated on. I rolled out a piece of white clay on a very thin setting and from that I'm going to cut out a tiny table to stand in front of the couch. I cut out a square from some thicker clay that I am just going to glue on with a tiny bit of bacon bond and that's going to be the uh, feet for the table. I'm not going to put the tabletop on this before baking because if I do the tabletop will kind of fall together, it will not keep the shape. Then I rolled another piece of white clay on a thicker setting, actually I placed this uh, double and I'm going to make a kitchen furniture out of that with the sink and cabins. Then I rolled out a piece of blue clay on the thinnest setting on my pasta machine and I'm going to use that for the tabletop for this little kitchen of furniture. And I made the hole in the furniture so I can make a little hole for a sink in this part as well. I'm making a little wall cabinet by first cutting out a tiny square that I made from a piece of white clay that I rolled through my pasta machine on a setting two. I also rolled the clay through the thinnest setting on my pasta machine and I cut a smaller square out of that for the door. Then I made a tiny wardrobe and I made this the same way as we just did the little cabinet. I glue the tabletop on its place. Now I'm just going to glue the bottom of the caravan in place. Then I will glue the wardrobe and the little wall cabinet in their places as well.
I made these small plates and cups a long time ago and I will leave a link in the info box below so you can find the video where I made those. I have a few other decorations items that I'm going to place as well. I used a hole puncher and punched out a circle of a velour paper that I'm using as a little carpet. This is a nail art decoration piece that I uh, squeezed flat and then I printed out a very very tiny picture, glued this little thing around it as a frame and as the glue was dry I just cut this little piece out of the paper. Now I'm just going to glue it onto the wall as a little picture. Then I painted these two small figures that I found on eBay so they fit what I need and what I like. I just painted these in plain colors so no fancy things there. So let's skip the step and jump to where I'm gluing these two guys into the caravan. Here you can see it a little better. And then I realized that I did not put the connection between the uh, caravan and the car on this little caravan. So that's what I'm trying to do right here. I cut out this little shape, rolled a little ball and glued that on with a little tiny bit of bacon bond. All there is left to do is gluing this little hook onto the caravan. I had a lot of fun creating this little caravan. Please remember to subscribe and give it a like if you liked this video. Thank you for watching and happy crafting!